Cytosponge is a cell retrieval system. So it's a system that is designed to get cells from a wide area of your gullet. In fact, the whole of the esophagus. This is an outpatient test, which is an alternative to endoscopy. The patient has to swallow a pill that has got a very thin string attached to it. Once the pill goes into the patient's stomach, the outer coat of the pill gets dissolved and a little sponge comes out. And you basically pull it out. Cytosponge brushes the inside of the gullet and takes cells from everywhere. We send it to the lab and it tells us whether there is any disease in your gullet or not. It can cause very mild discomfort and very minor gagging, but it's nothing compared to endoscopy. It certainly doesn't need sedation or anything like that. And it is a test that has got about 90% sensitivity and 90% specificity to diagnose Barrett's and esophageal cancer. The cytosponge patient is a patient with reflux symptoms without alarm symptoms, and possibly somebody who's not responded that well, and you're a little bit worried about them. Somebody who probably has got a new reflux. Those patients are ideal. But actually any reflux patient without alarm symptoms will be okay. This is the Northeast London wide service. So you are quite happy to take referrals from any Northeast London uh, CCGs. Call me comfort, one of the narrative. Even if, if they've got alarm symptoms and you have not quite picked it up or the patient has not told you, rest assured that your patient is safe because we will pick that up anyway. And we will redirect them towards endoscopy and we'll not send them back to you. It is not just a cytology, it's not just looking at the cells on the microscope. We specially stain them for several molecular markers and they are trifoil factor 3 and p53, which we know are expressed in early Barrett's and esophageal cancer. We get a very clear report and we then have some pointers and prompts as to how it should be treated. Most of the time, we discharge them, which is what you want. You don't want to medicalize people's lives. At the same time, if you pick up something, we get a sense check as to how important it is. So for example, if you have got TFF3 and P53 both positive, then we'll probably endoscope them. Sometimes we'll just follow them up. But the vast majority will simply discharge them. At the moment, only 15% to 20% of people are alive at the end of five years. That number can go up to 98% if we diagnose them early. So this is a slow growing condition, happens over many years. There's an enormous window of opportunity that we are missing, simply because we did not have a tool that can be practically implemented, that will be acceptable to real people in real life. So I think this is a real game changer.